go ahead and subscribe right down now okay kitty so this is an update video on this hair that i have in maybe about a month ago or actually a little over a month um i did a review on this light yakky hair from queen weave beauty so i just wanted to do an update video as i do like a curling tutorial a flat iron curling tutorial i just want to give you guys an update on this hair that i still have in that's still full of body and I just want to show you some of the products that I do use in it which is very little but I want to go ahead and of course give you an update and do a nice relaxing curling tutorial so if you into that girl keep watching okay now these bundles are sewn in and since I've sewn this in I've co-washed it um once each week so I've had it in for about five weeks or so so every week I wash it with conditioner only only because I just feel like I don't put a lot of products in this hair, so it doesn't really have a lot of buildup. But I do, um, at the end of the week, want to just add some moisture back into it. And I add this. It is by Pantene Pro-V. It's the Daily Moisture Renewal. And I just picked this out on a whim. I know that the company does say that Pantene Pro-V products work well in this hair, so I kind of stuck with that. But this particular product is what I use. I got it from Walgreens. I wash my hair with it, or I wash the the um, bundles with it every week it smells so good and it leaves the hair so soft and bouncy the hair itself already has a lot of body but this this it keeps it on point because at the end of the week or like a week or so the hair gets a little bit drier towards the end and then just washing it with the conditioner sort of just snaps it back snaps it back right to life so I like that and I don't wash it with shampoo like I said I don't put a lot of products on this hair so it doesn't really have a lot of buildup and it doesn't get weighed down easily so I just keep it pretty simple <laughs> and just sticking with the Pantene Pro-V theme when it comes to heat protecting this is what I use and I only use this when I'm blow drying the hair I have a blow dryer that has like the paddle brush sort of attached to it so when I wash the hair I just blow dry it but I spray this on it I spray this on my natural hair as well as the bundles just as a heat protectant and so far so good when I'm flat ironing the hair or curling it I don't put any other heat protection on it because I just don't want any extra products when I'm curling it but once it's wet after washing it and blow drying it that is the only time I spray this on there and so far so good these products have been working extremely well in the hair like I said I keep it pretty simple there's no I don't put any oils or anything like that because it just doesn't feel necessary so I don't do it I don't do it okay guys so we're gonna get into curling this hair with a flat iron adding some voluminous body curls which I absolutely love because it looks so glamorous and of course I'm gonna use my very favorite flat iron I have a couple tutorials on my page or on my um, channel using this uh, the Babyliss or baby bliss pro titanium mines looks really beat up but it works really well I just feel like the seasoning you know <laughs> the seasoning works when it's beat up and used and abused it just works really well still so this is what I'm using it's a fantastic flat iron I am gonna be um, probably getting a different sort of heating tool just to try something new I've had this for a while and I'm sure there's plenty new products or new um, tools that I can try but right now right now this works and you're gonna see how gorgeous my hair looks when I'm done okay kids so I have sectioned off my hair with one of my claw clips like this I got this from Amazon just have one of those in there right now just to sort of separate it now I don't do anything that's too specific too precise or difficult at all I am going to grab random sections of the hair and I'm gonna freaking curl it and I'm gonna curl it away from my face. And we're gonna have body curls that look glamorous and it's gonna look like I put in a lot more effort than I actually did, okay? So let's get to curling. Okay, kids, so I have my flat iron on 410. This actually goes to 450, but I have it on 410 because I am curling ext extensions. It's not my hair, so it's like, whatever. If I'm flat ironing, like straightening my leave out, I have it on 375, just, you know, for reference. Because this does get pretty hot and i i don't find a reason that i ever use the 450 setting but if it's on extensions i will you know i don't mind going up high on my natural hair i won't but i'm just going to grab sections like so so you can see 
And I like to point, let me get in a little closer. I like to point my flat iron downward and then curl away from the face because I find it to be easier. I don't know. I just grab it because I can grab the end piece here. And you gotta be careful because it is pretty hot. And I just turn and slide. And that is much easier when pointed downward, okay? So that is the curl. It's a nice, loose body curl, okay? And it's a large section of the hair, so the curls are going to be looser. So the bigger the section, the looser the curl. So this is what we have. I'm going to do another one just to show you. It's good as you can see. See? Super easy, right? Okay, okay so let's, let's curl another random piece. First, I'm just going to slide the... Uh, flat iron down the hair once. I'm just going to pass it one. Okay, so I like to um, pour it, pour it. <laughs> I like to point the iron downward like this. That way I can grab this end to sort of help me guide the iron down the hair. And I just keep turning it while sliding it, turning it while sliding it until I eventually, you know, get down to the end of the hair. And then it should have a loose uh, curl like this. Okay, so that's basically what I'm going to do on my entire head. Just grab random pieces and curl it. Okay, and I'll go ahead and show you that now. Okay, Kitty, so now that the curls are in, I'm going to use a, I don't know what this is called, like a wide tooth comb. I call it a rake comb and just sort of comb through the curls and manipulate it and play with it to my liking. And before that, before that I do that, I'm going to go ahead and spray. Um, I have a holding spray. I don't use this often, but I do use it sometimes when I want to hold the curls a bit. Typically in this hair, the curls are probably last the day um, by, I don't know, by 12 or 13 hours or so, it's gonna be pretty loose, like almost falling, but it lasts for the majority of the day. I am gonna spray some of this spray here. I really like this because it's soft. It's a soft hold. Um, this is by a brand called Cake. Very cute packaging. Okay, and this is the holding spray. I'll be sure to link this below. I got mine, I don't know if it was Alta or Walgreens. I don't even remember, but. This is the brand, and I'm going to spray it on the hair a little bit. I'm just going to grab some. I'm just going to go like that. Literally, that's it. I'm going to grab some here. It smells really good. That's it. I'm not going to put anything else. I don't like to put a lot of product on this hair because I don't like to weigh it down, and I love for it to stay bouncy. You know what I mean? All right, so here is the rake comb. We're just gonna comb through it a bit and just sort of play with it so it can have this nice, full, bouncy, you know, sexy look that I really like. Okay, this hair is so full, okay? But here are the curls. Go ahead and scoop back a bit so you guys can see. So these are the curls. This side's a little bit looser. 
don't know what was going on when I was curling it, but you get the picture. I do like it to be actually very loose. Okay, like look how much of volume. It's the way that we curled it, of course, but the hair itself is pretty, pretty bouncy and voluminous and full. And I really like that about this hair. Okay, so this is how we're looking. I want to comb this side out a little bit more. But again, you just play with it to, you know, your liking. If you want tighter curls, you do smaller sections. If you want looser curls, of course, you do bigger sections. That's why I was just grabbing random large pieces as much as I can kind of fit in the flat iron and curling it. So this side came out a lot more defined. <laughs> Maybe the pieces were smaller, but either way, I absolutely love how this came out. I just wanted to show you the end. So this, uh, this is the ends of the hair, just so you can see how bouncy it is. I missed a couple pieces when I was curling it, but that's fine. Perfect hair isn't perfect, do you know what I mean? So. This is us. <laughs> okay, Kitty, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. To me, flat iron curls are the best and I absolutely love my flat iron. I am gonna try some new tools though, but definitely hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to link everything that I mentioned in this video. Um, of course, the Queenly Beauty hair is a 10 out of 10. I've had it for about five weeks and it's still going strong. It's still full. Um, it sheds, but it's minimal shedding. It's a, a normal amount of shedding. Haven't really had any extensions that did not shed. And it still retained its volume. It's still bouncy. It just, I just really love this hair. <laughs> okay, and it blends with my hair really nicely the texture of it is really nice and i just you know i just love it and again hopefully the tutorial was helpful for you if you have any questions always feel free to leave them below and again i will link everything so be sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure you come back for another video girl okay okay